Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at a new Word feature called Reuse Files, which sits on the Home tab on the right hand side, as you can see here. So when you click on that, it opens a pane with um, some suggestions, recently used files usually, and a search box at the top with some more options on this drop down list here where you can go to the web media help or files. So how it works is let's say that you've got some information in this Excel sheet or file that you want. So you click on that, then it will open up all the different sheets in that file and allow you to select whichever one you want. So let's say you want this graph. You click on that and it comes into Word as it calls it a slide. I'll just do another one. So let's say we want that one as well. You could insert slide and that one comes in. So that's like a picture from Excel. Stops you having to find it and then open it and then copy and paste. Now if I go for um, the web, you can see that it will find information for you. So if I type training and press enter, it's now looking on the web for training references and you've got these little ellipses on the right where you can insert a link for example to that I'll come down again in the document then you can also cite that one so if I click on cite it gives you that sort of link come down again now if I go to a different option and go for media this will again look for training on Bing and you can click on these, it drops that in and you've got ellipses as well with a link or you can flag that as inappropriate if you want. And then you've got help and then the bottom one is just files. So again, I've got training selected there. So this is, if you click on this, this is a file about training. And let's say you want um, one of these blocks of text, I'll just come and make a bit more space. You just hover over the bit of text that you want and then you click on that and it drops that text into your document. So if you're using the similar document all the time and you want bits and bobs on there, you can see how you can bring that in like so. So if I go back to, and get rid of this, and then press enter, that'll give you the default list again. Um, all, so the Excel files, Word files, everything you've been looking at uh, on your computer over the last short while. Now, you've also got other tools. If I close this down for a second and go on to the References tab, something similar to that is the Researcher option. So if I go onto that and type training, and search for this, you get um, what looks similar but is slightly different in that you're not going to import the actual whole thing. It's usually just a reference to it. So it says add this source as a citation. So you can add it as a citation like so. And that one, add that as a citation. So that's slightly different. And of course, you still have in Word the old the old auto text feature where you can grab chunks of text and add it to the auto text feature and then bring that in. So if you're using the same paragraphs and that's what you're doing it for, you can use auto text. And if I just show you how that works, just to remind you, there's a bit of text. You just highlight it. You go to the insert tab, quick parts, auto text, and then save it into the auto text gallery and give it a name. So I've already got one called intro, but I'll just overwrite that one. You can change the um, categories and create new ones if you want. I'll leave it on general and save in normal. Okay. Yes, I do want to replace the original. And then it's just a case of typing that word. Little tip comes up, press enter like so. So you can do, you can use that as well. And in terms for, of graphs, if you always want this graph, now this graph obviously is, is not going to be updated it's not linked to the source file but it 
if you wanted that graph quickly, you could also add that into the auto text gallery. Um, I'll just call it chart and I think I've got one called chart as well. Yeah. Now, when you bring a, a diagram in like that, you have to use the function key. If I type chart, it doesn't come up with a tip. But if I use the function key F3, that will bring it in. So those are different options. The first one I showed you was a new feature, which I quite like, which is reuse files. And it just brings things in. So you've got a different file there. You can insert these as little slides and they come in quite quick. All these little graphs, these little pie charts, and then they look quite good in Word, to be honest. If you just make that a bit smaller so you can see them. Yeah, so this, this document has just been created by me clicking once or twice or typing a short, a short word and then the text comes onto the screen. So reuse files it, uh, it is a new feature and I've noticed on one of my Office 365 packages, this button itself is not there, but if you search for it at the top, if you just type in there, um, reuse, reuse files, it does come up. So you can see um, how that works. So that's all I want to talk about in this particular session. So hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time.